about Kalike had this smile. His smile was so big on his little face. Every time he was about to get in trouble, that smile would get him out of it. One time I remember we were hiding in grandma's pantry, eating candy, her candy, almond joys. I ate mine really fast, but this guy, he took his time, almost like savoring every moment. <laughs> Grandma started calling us out, and this guy came popping out of the pantry with the evidence all over his face, hands, and the look on my grandma's face. Priceless. But all he had to do was smile. Kalike Sailor Gerard Kalamo was born June 25th, 1985 in Anchorage, Alaska to Shawnee Kalamo, Rest in Love Mom, and Rating Kahale Paole. <laughs> Kalike grew up in Lana Kilo with grandma and the support of his mother and our dad, Ronnie Liulamo. It was in our early 20s, you know, we didn't have much, uh, but the five of us decided to go to Vegas. So on a budget, we booked a single room for five guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was at the Circus Circus Hotel, by the way. It wasn't fancy. The trip consisted of empty pockets, a dented rental van, and somebody mark his territory in the corner of that room. Like was the type of guy to set his goals. He actually achieved every single one of them. Getting married to his true love, raising the best son, and being a great police officer. Ready? When I was 15 years old, my mom told me to pray to God that he find me my perfect husband and to be specific. So I did. My future husband needed to be Hawaiian. That's why. <laughs> he needs to be handsome, have muscles, <laughs> loves the ocean, and lastly, he needs to love God. When I was 16, God sent Kaulike to me. He was Hawaiian. In my eyes, he was the most handsomest guy ever. He had solid muscles before the chocolate donuts and half-off plate lunches. He was my forever, and I am thankful and blessed to have had him for 18 years. We all hope we could have woken up from that bad dream. Not a day goes by where I don't think about that weekend and everything leading up to it. It just hurts me and probably most of you. I'm gonna miss his stinkiness, his bald-headedness, his Oscar the grouchiness, blaming me for ruining his life. <laughs> his, his jokes, his laugh, his love, his presence, and everything else. The thing I'm gonna miss though was his bond, was bonding. It's just not gonna be the same. Sad yet thankful for those memories. I put this down